Hi, my name is Evan Richardson. We're on the, the coast of Western Hudson Bay in Churchill, Manitoba, and we're uh, amongst one of the most well-studied polar bear populations in the world. As a field biologist, I work with these bears, and in our research we answer a lot of questions about polar bear habitat selection, where they make their den sites, how they move out on the sea ice, what sort of animals they prey on, and how large their home ranges are. We've done a lot of research on the impacts of climate change, but some of the things we don't know a lot about are things like polar bear physiology, how their nervous system works, how sensitive their hearing is, how sensitive their sense of smell is. And this is where zoos and aquariums are, are working with the field biologists to get some more information about some of these key questions about polar bear life history. So in working with zoos like the San Diego Zoo, uh, we started to look at some of these questions, um, in particular looking at uh, hearing experiments and how sensitive polar bears are to different noises. This is important for denning female polar bears to see if they're being disturbed. In addition, um, there's work being done on polar bear reproduction. They've actually started doing ultrasounds on polar bears in captivity and learning more about um, uh, implantation of embryos and uh, important things to do with polar bear reproduction. And so. Um, we're working with uh, Polar Bears International and uh, establishing cooperative working relationships between researchers like myself who work in the field and also people who work with uh, bears and zoos. And together with the support from Polar Bears International, we're starting to learn more about um, polar bears and together we're trying to make a difference in terms of the conservation of this species.